uh, in terms of uh, improving uh, the infrastructure in our corridors, uh, as well as promoting trade facilitation through uh, one-stop border ports, as well as improving uh, customs administration generally. Um, uh, very, very important factors um, in our quest to uh, move from this 12% of intra-regional uh, trade um, uh, to a much higher level, maybe of 20% uh, by the year 2020. So I don't want to say much. Um, um, this is um, um, just a ceremonial uh, exercise, uh, but marking a very important uh, milestone uh, in the relationship between the EAC uh, and the various development partners who have come round uh, to support and underwrite uh, the resources uh, of trademark um, East Africa. Uh, so with much pleasure on behalf of my colleagues, uh, we are very, very happy uh, to be able to sign uh, this memorandum of understanding today. Thank you. Potential of the program, and so it is a particular pleasure to be here and see the next stage coming to fruition. Within, within DFID, we are convinced that trade creates wealth and jobs, which in turn lift people out of poverty. By strengthening regional integration within East Africa and by breaking through barriers to trade, Trademark is helping to create new opportunities and to accelerate economic growth across the region. In the UK government's new trade and investment white paper, which was launched earlier this month, the UK government has restated its commitment to free trade, and we are convinced that Africa's economic development depends on it. As we all know, Africa contains 30 of the world's 43 poorest countries, many of which are landlocked, small, and far from the world's main markets. It accounts for 15% of the world's population, but for just 2% of its trade. And we know that average export costs in Africa are 78% higher than in OECD countries. So the me measures to harmonize laws and standards within an EAC common market and to streamline border post bureaucracy, which we have been just discussing, are important for East Africa. They are also critical milestones to achieving greater free trade across the whole continent of Africa. And the UK government also announced earlier this month a new Africa Free Trade Initiative, which will help support Africa's own plans to strengthen trade links. We would like to help the whole of Africa trade in ways that are faster, easier and cheaper, speeding up access to new markets and encouraging entrepreneurs on the continent to invest and grow their businesses. So I'm really pleased to be here today witnessing East Africa leading the way on this. Um, my thanks to Trademark East Africa and most importantly uh, to the EAC Secretary General and his team for the leadership you have shown and the hard work and commitment to these important objectives. Asante Nisana. Angela Sana. I hope this speech will be characteristic of how the EAC and the member states will go on working because you need speed, you have a great potential and you need speed to achieve that. And I'm also happy to be here because the Dutch government, I took some time I must admit, the Dutch government has contributed 10 million euros to the trademark program. It already fitted in with the last government's priorities but the present Dutch government and the present policies for development co cooperation have even put trade and economic growth higher on the agenda as compared with the past. So that was, in this respect, a lucky change of government. Now there's a great potential for a really common market. I'm emphasizing two things. It's still a potential, yeah, it has to be developed, and in order to get there, you need a really common EAC market. It's 120 million right now, it will shortly become much more, and keep in mind, Integration was the heart of the Euro European success and I can imagine integration will be at the heart of the East African success as well. And the potential is there, not only for big business, we are always thinking of big business in this case, it's also there for small and medium sized business and many policies have already been developed and I think it's a challenge for EAC but even more for the member states to implement the policies being developed. That is important and I'm very happy. I saw some of the things that have been achieved already. I was very happy to see there apparently there's a system that has been developed 
to track the implementation of the measures at the member state level. I think that's important. You should sort of make a peer review of who's doing what, who is faster than other countries, because it's peer review that works. You do. I, for one, will follow the work of Trademark and of the EAC and of the ministries involved closely. Ongera sana tena asanteni sana. Ambassador, Director of DFID, uh, thank you very much for coming today. It's a real pleasure to be to be here. And I think it is really important, uh, an important event. We, we are delighted to be taking forward our partnership with the East African community um, with really the, the single goal of a, of a really prosperous community for the 130 million East Africans. Um, I really commend the Secretariat for making a huge amount of progress in terms of regional integration, customs union, common market, two new members. It is really fabulous. And, and obviously, um, the renown that the East African community has in terms of being one of the most advanced regional economic communities in, in Africa is well deserved. So I'm very proud to be working with you. Um, today, I really do appreciate um, the signing of this MOU to symbolize our deep partnership that's, that's, that's operated. And um, particularly, Secretary General, I'd like to thank you so much when you urged, urged us, um, Ambassador, to do something different, to really make a tangible contribution to supporting East African integration and trade for the improvement of the lives of millions of East Africans. That was really when Trademark East Africa was born. And we really do appreciate so much your guidance and support in developing the program, which is unusual. I also just wanted to say thank you so much to your top management team, the Deputy Secretary Generals, for working closely with us. I'd particularly like to single out um, DSG Reteach um, for all the great work that we've done on the CDAP um, in terms of improving the fiduciary systems of the community. I think you've done a fabulous job under your leadership and we really look forward to engaging with you on that. I'd also like to recognize very much the work and the partnership that we've had with um, your infrastructure team led by Philip Wambugu and Josea Nyangueso on the corridors, public-private partnership work, the tripartite and taking forward the investment conference. A lot's been achieved and a lot to do. I also would like to thank um, you, Secretary General, for um, all the work on the institutional review. We continue to be there to support you on that. But also Kenneth Bagamunda and the team for putting that review together internally and all the work that we're doing on one-stop border posts, customs development, and customs IT. I'd also like to thank Dr. Musonda and Gerald Ajumbo for all the excellent work we'll be doing with you on standards, NTBs, competition policy. Um, I'd also like to say that we are really excited about the, the partnership with you on the investment climate harmonization under DSG Mutabingwa, um, particularly setting up the new fund um, with ICAS to support you on investment climate harmonization and also um, in terms of taking for the development strategy and all the M&E work. I think you can see by all of the things I've mentioned just how deep the partnership really is. And you know what, what I so appreciate about working with the East African community is just a cl close partnership. And I think I said in Nairobi, but our, our agenda is very much your agenda. And we're, you know, Trademark East Africa is there to stand by and support you in driving forward the engine of regional integration. Trademark East Africa's role is perhaps to help with a bit of oil, maybe a bit of petrol every so often, but the engine is very much driven by you and we, we are there to support you with a long-term and flexible approach. Um, we're also very keen to work with existing instruments such as the, the Partnership Fund uh, in terms of the assistance that we give and we really look forward to now operationalizing our partnership with you through a quarterly um, oversight committee that will be convened here. We've achieved some great results already, I won't go into the details, but we're really looking forward to supporting you to achieve really greater things in regional integration. I'd also like to say thank you very much to our investors, particularly the UK, the Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden and Belgium, for all the support they've given us. Um, and we're really looking forward to taking for this partnership. Thank you very much.